Welcome to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. My guest this hour is Danelle Glasscock. She is the Executive Director of the United Way of Greater Kingsport. Thank you for being here today, Danelle. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad to be here. Well, you brought along a promotional piece. So let's go ahead and watch this little video and then get into the interview. Thank you. We're Strong is more than just a slogan. It's the power, endurance, and spirit of our entire community. And this year, it has been on full display. You've been resilient, like Ernie, in the face of experiencing homelessness, he persevered to secure stable housing. You've been passionate, like school counselors April and Sarah, assisting students through their challenges and dreaming that tomorrow's future is better than today. You've continually served, like Larry and Deb, responding with calm and compassion in the face of unplanned disaster. Masters. You've been creative and determined, like Addison and Anna, finding ways to maintain nurturing relationships through both the computer screen and real life. And you, Greater Kingsport, have been generous, helping United Way fight for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in our community. We ask you to join us as we continue the fight. Together, we can make a difference. United, we're strong. Donate now at uakpt.org. Well, that was very nice. That was very good. So let's talk. You guys have your campaign going on right now. We sure do. We're excited. We are launching a $3 million campaign and you will see thermometers up around town. You will see flags down Main Street and uh, billboards up and radio ads. And it's that time of year for United Way campaign. How long does it go on for? We go through mid-November and then we'll be announcing our results and later this week we're going to be announcing where we are with what we call first quarter results and I'm excited to be announcing that on Thursday as well. Well let's talk about what all United Way does. Yes, well thank you. We have over 29 programs and agencies that we support in our community with even uh, more things going on at each of these agencies. And they are really the building blocks for our community. They support areas of education with many quality after school programs, preschool programs, and that's really been tough during the last year. We support self-sufficiency with areas that are helping people get jobs in the midst of this crazy crisis that we're in, but also helping people People that have just kind of gotten knocked off their feet with a number of things get back up on their feet and then the health and safety for financial stability and the helping of our families in our community that undergo just traumatic events everything from a house fire to um, a, a family that uh, needs a meals on wheels and can no longer cook for themselves so just across the gamut many different type of agencies that we support in our community well, very good. So there are a lot. And how can people help? Well, the first doll is, is donating. And so if people have not yet, they can go online to give to United Way at uakpt.org slash give. And um, hopefully people, if they still get the newspaper and the hard copy of it, would have seen this in their newspaper, oh, nice. their newspaper insert that can tell them all about it. But anyone that wants to see our stories or hear more about what we do, we have those videos that we just showed you. We have in-depth look at those videos. So you can go on to see more about Ernie or Larry and Deb, the school counselors or Ann and Addison. You can see a longer version of their stories too online at our website as well. That's uakpt.org slash 2021 campaign. And you can see all of those great stories. But the best way to do is to give dollars because these agencies have been struggling during the pandemic. They have been doing their best to make ends meet and figuring out how to do things in a new way to do with all these uh, COVID and Delta variant um, rules and obligations to keep all their kids safe or their older adults safe, whoever they're serving. So they really need our support this year more than ever. It's been a challenging year for mm. everyone and our agencies are right there on the front line trying to help people. How can an agency become part of United Way to get funds? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great question. 
Well, they go through an application process. I mm -hmm. know we were just talking with Tom with the police department, mm -hmm. and it's it's an application process too for United Way. But um, they can contact us and uh, and uh, tell us what their needs are. But we do have a very extensive vetting process that's made up of citizens in our community. And so the citizens not only determine what agencies may come in, but they also determine how to distribute those dollars the best. And it's it's a tough decision for us to figure out how do you give the most dollars to do the most good in our community. Mm -hmm. But we've got great community citizens. They look at a at an agency's finances. Then they mostly look at how many people they serve, and is there anyone else in our community already serving this group of people in a way? But we really talk about those basic building blocks of education, income, and health. Those three building blocks really, we think, are the quality for a good foundation of life for anyone. And everyone needs those three building blocks to be successful. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys have been helping out Greater Kingsport for a long time now. How long have you guys been part of our great city? Well, that's wonderful that you asked that question because we were just talking about that last week. We officially started in 1934 mm. as um, with the state of Tennessee, but actually in 1922, so next year would be 100 years, the oh. uh, Kingsport Businessman's Club um, started. And so we're trying to figure out how do we celebrate our anniversary? Where do we call 100 years? But yeah. it has been a long time in our community. We're really building on the backs of generosity of many people in mm -hmm. our community that have gone before us. We have some great companies too that have already run their campaigns right now. So uh, the Eastman campaign has already started and we'll be getting their results in here soon. Uh, Eastman Credit Union has finished their campaign. They've come on strong this year. Uh, several of the banks have already finished and so we are very That's excited great. that we've had people um, already giving this year. The one thing too, people can be looking out for in the mail. They'll probably be getting a letter from us in the mail asking mm -hmm. them to give. So. That's important too as well. Do you find that these companies are giving more this year because so many of these agencies are really hurting, like you said, a lot of it because of the virus and things like that. So do you find that people are being a little more generous right now or are they having tough times too? I think it's tough times for everyone, Linda, and everyone's having to dig deep this year as mm -hmm. we're really trying to know that last year in this continuing virus is really still taking um, havoc across our community mm -hmm. and so everyone's really having to dig deep to help this year and we greatly appreciate that. So you're probably going to rely a lot on individual donations this year. We really are. We really are. And we have a leadership giving club too. If people give $500 or more, mm -hmm. they become part of our leadership giving club and oh. uh, we have some little extra perks for them as donors. So oh, like that's what? one thing we like. And that's only $10 a week, you know? Oh. And so that's not, that's not very much. Yeah, it's easier when it's spread out like that. It is. Mm -hmm. it what is. are some of the perks? Give me an example, Danelle. Well, people I, like that kind of thing. I know, people do. People <laughs> do like that kind of thing. Well, one of the interesting things we have this year is we have um, our extra mile prints. So every year we have um, specific prints, but if a person gives over a certain amount, we have um, a local artist who's gone downtown in Kingsport and actually just painted it two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, this nice street streetscape of downtown Kingsport looking back toward Citizens Bank mm -hmm. and uh, the Bays Mountain behind that and Cement Hill. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice print. So people that give a certain amount, they can check the box if they've given that amount and get a copy of this limited edition extra mile print. Oh, that's from nice. Us as one of the perks. That, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, well tell tell me a little bit how people can volunteer. I'm sure you need volunteers. Everybody needs help right now. Everybody does need volunteers. Well, at our office, we could use people to help stuff the envelope. So if somebody has oh, yeah. an extra couple of hours and want to come help us with the mailing, our Meals on Wheels continues to need volunteer drivers, volunteer cooks, and they do a remarkable job in our community, especially reaching out to the elderly people that we love in our community who can't do it themselves. And then I want to really highlight Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Oh yeah, that's With great. With all the school kids that have been out of school last year and traveling times this year and their families, having that adult mentor in their life is so important. We're really trying to get more mentors for these young people. Oh, that that's true. That, that's a very good point. I like that you brought that up. Meals on Wheels, I know I've worked for them before. That's a very worthy um, 
thing to do as well. So tell me a little bit more about what we can do for you. Well, I think the one thing right now is to go online and okay. to uh, make that a donation. That's the most important. Make right. a donation. Money is the most important right now. We have an easy way to give that at online, and you can either make your own account and see how much you've given, and also you can volunteer. And to volunteer too, to see other opportunities, you can go to the website volunteerunited.org, and mm -hmm. we have regional opportunities there. But the main thing too is just get involved and make a difference. Help a neighbor, help a friend, but also give dollars to United Way. Together we can make a difference. United we're strong. There you go. That's right. So uwaykingsport.org. Is that right? That's where we need to go. uwaykingsport.org. uwaykpt.org. Okay, uwaykpt. So I, I just go right for Kingsport. That's good. uwaykpt.org. And do you have to do the slash 2021 campaign? If you do that, you'll go straight to the videos. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But you can just go to UAKPT, not Kingsport, UAKPT.org, and you can get more information there about how to give and things like that and, and volunteering and stuff. And this is going on until mid-November? That's correct. So now is the time to give so that these agencies in our area can get the funds they so desperately need. Gosh, Danielle, Danielle, thank you so much for being here today, and thank you for all the good work you do for our community. Well, Linda, thank you very much. We appreciate the support here. We know you know about the great programs going on and our homeless initiative and our opioid abuse initiatives. We have many things that are going on, so thank you very much for helping us promote it today. Thank you. It's my pleasure to have you here. Thank you for tuning in and joining us as well. This is A Closer Look.